From weird hairy wombats to creepy tarantulas, here are 10 animals that humans barely ever get to see. Shoe-billed stork. The shoe-billed stork is often referred to as the most terrifying bird in the world. It has the face of a monster and the body of a dinosaur. This thing looks awful, right? Or creepy? Sort of human too. What do you think? Maybe it's a good thing it is so elusive and rarely seen, and better for them because that way humans leave them alone. I don't think too many people would be happy if the shoe-billed stork was prowling around their local park. These horribly ugly birds typically live in the swamps of eastern Africa, eating things like lungfish, catfish, eels, baby crocodiles, snakes, and even giant monitor lizards. There are not too many freaky birds like this that can actually eat crocodiles. You are not likely to see a shoe-billed stork in the zoo. There simply are not that many of these birds flapping around. It's probably for the best anyways, as these prehistoric birds have even strange death stares that can make your skin crawl. And they make weird noises when greeting other birds. But to be completely honest, these are actually some very cool birds. They even appear in artwork from the ancient Egyptians as they once heavily populated the Nile River. Could they be descendants of dinosaurs? It seems likely looking at their weird facial structure. What do you think? Post your opinion in the comments below, and while you're there, don't forget to subscribe. Northern Hairy-Nosed Wombat The next reclusive animal on our list is the Northern Hairy-Nosed Wombat. I would tell you its scientific name, but it's way too long and the Latin is very difficult to pronounce. This poor little wombat is currently critically endangered. As such, you typically don't see these weird-looking wombats any longer in Australia. According to the Australian government's environmental division, these wombats were likely already in decline soon after European settlers arrived on the continent. At that time, the hairy-nosed wombat was the least common of the three prominent wombat species. And if you are already sick of hearing the word wombat, the story is not quite over yet. You see, with the introduction of sheep, cattle, and rabbits, the northern hairy-nosed wombat lost much of its home and his numbers started to dwindle. Now, there are very few left, with estimations of fewer than 250 northern hairy-nosed wombats living on their own in the wild. These wombats are the biggest of the three common wombat species. They are also the softest, the furriest, and the most interesting. They are typically nocturnal and live for about 26 years. They might make a very loving pet if we domesticated them. Maybe we can start promoting hairy-nosed wombats in place of dogs. What do you think? Would you want a hairy-nosed wombat as a pet? Goody Tarantula Anyone who has spent much time in the jungle is painfully aware of how tarantulas shock you when they cross your path. These are not shy creatures, as you can see them scurrying over logs, walking across paths in the forest, and trying to crawl into your shoes at night. However, there is one incredibly rare species of tarantula that is rarely seen. It's one of the most vibrant spiders in the world, known as the Goody Tarantula, or as the Sapphire Ornamental Tree Spider. The sapphire part of its name comes from the beautiful metallic colors. The spider's body is a silver kind of sapphire with incredibly vivid blue legs. Its original name, the Goody Tarantula, is because it was first discovered in the town of Goody in southeast India. These tarantulas are currently on the list of threatened species. This is because the forests in which the Goody Tarantula lives in India are gradually receding as the lumber is being chopped down and sold. They are also hunted as exotic pets, as people in the United States readily pay as much as 500 bucks for one of these gorgeous sapphire tarantulas. However, these spiders are not easy to find. The Goody Tarantula is so rare that they were only first discovered in 1899, then not seen again for another 102 years until they were rediscovered in 2001. That's a long time to stay hidden in the jungle. The Somali Elephant Shrew Imagine a mouse with an elephant trunk, and you're thinking of the Somali Elephant Shrew. This unique microfauna is one of the smallest mammals in the world, and it is not a creature you are likely to bump into or even view in a zoo. This is in part due to it being essentially lost for the past 50 years. According to an article by Global News, scientists had lost the elephant shrew for about 50 years with only around 12 preserved specimens scattered throughout the world in different museums. Everyone had thought it was extinct. However, researchers recently discovered the Somali elephant shrew in Djibouti very recently. It seems this cute little guy is not extinct at all, but merely elusive. This is not an animal that's easy to find. The Somali elephant shrew looks like a strange mix between a mouse and a shrunken elephant. It has a thin trunk, a scaly tail, and big black eyes that make it adorable. And while the Somali elephant shrew is about the same size as a mouse, it's more closely related to elephants, aardvarks, and manatees. Evolution has never been more confusing. Chickens are related to dinosaurs, shrews are related to elephants, and the duck-billed platypus is just a mess. In any case, the elephant shrew is one hard-to-spot mammal. 
The Yangtze finless porpoise. This species is getting rarer and rarer for a tragic reason. It's going extinct and no one seems to be putting a stop to it. One of the most elusive dolphin-like species in the world is the Yangtze finless porpoise, which is a critically endangered subspecies found only in the Yangtze River in China. Over the last two decades, their population has dropped dramatically. However, data is so hard to come by that it is impossible to determine the extent of their decline. But one thing is for sure, these porpoises are not often seen. They are at an extremely high risk of extinction, with a predicted population of only around 1,000. The Beji dolphin, which lives in the Yangtze River alongside this porpoise, sadly went extinct back in 2006, and without significant action to protect it, the porpoise is soon to follow. This is due to an increase in human population and industrialization of the river itself. Too many boats, too much pollution, and too many people have basically gotten rid of most of the life in the river. Seeing one of these dolphins is extremely rare, and it might soon be impossible. The Sayola. The Sayola is basically a mystical deer. It's as close to a unicorn as you're likely to find in real life. The species was first discovered in 1992, and they are one of the rarest large animals on Earth, almost never seen. This is incredibly rare for such a big animal, but it makes sense considering where the Sayola lives. This mystical looking deer creature is found only in the forests of Laos and Vietnam, and more specifically in the Annamite Mountains along the shared border of these two countries. It lives solitarily in deep forests where people have yet to encroach and where industry has yet to rear its ugly and polluted head. These animals have been spotted primarily thanks to trap cameras, with only a few Sayola actually being captured and kept in some villages and cages. The animal is something of an anomaly, as it is the largest terrestrial animal never seen in the wild by a biologist. Biologists have found thousands of species, from frogs to tiny ants, but not a single one has ever seen, with their eyes, a Sayola in the wild. This animal is basically as secretive as Bigfoot. If you can find a Sayola, you'll have done something practically no one on planet Earth has managed to achieve. Better get your hiking gear ready. Borneo Pygmy Elephant Borneo Pygmy Elephants are gentle, shy giants. They live, as the name would suggest, in Borneo, which is a fantastic island blessed with some of the world's most diverse ecosystems. And within the expanses of the many ecosystems of Borneo, the elusive Pygmy Elephant lives. They are only found in Indonesia and East Malaysia, but they are often not seen. Even though they live anywhere from 60 to 75 years, they are still pretty sneaky animals. This is because they are the smallest elephants in the world. Borneo pygmy elephants are about 30% smaller than a typical Asian elephant. A full-grown pygmy elephant will only grow to be roughly 10 feet tall. And even though they are tiny by elephant standards, they are still the biggest mammals in Borneo. They have small faces that make them look like babies, they have enormous ears, and they have strangely long tails. The Borneo pygmy elephants are even known to be more gentle than other types of elephants. Scientists suspect that they may have descended from a domesticated collection of some king or sultan many centuries ago. However, these friendly beasts are considered in danger, they are not being seen as often as they should be, and deforestation will eventually cause the extinction of these beautiful elephants unless some serious conservation efforts happen. What do you think? Would you like to have a Borneo pygmy elephant as a pet? I sure would. It's big enough to ride, but small enough to put in the back of a big trailer. Perfect. The Purple Frog No, you're not hallucinating. Purple frogs are real, they're just weird. They are also known as pig-nosed frogs, and they spend most of their lives underground. Because of this, the purple frog is not often seen. A typical purple frog emerges only for a few days out of the entire year during the start of the monsoon season to breed before going back underground. Purple frogs live in western India, and they have been evolving independently for about 100 million years, making them some of the oldest critters in the world. This frog is a burrowing species, which allows it to basically be overlooked by everyone. Tadpoles have evolved to live in torrential downpours and have specialized sucking mouths that they use to cling onto algae-covered rocks while they feed. The local people actually eat the tadpoles and use the adult frogs for holistic medicinal purposes. In some communities, they even make amulets out of purple frogs to be worn by children since it is believed that wearing a purple frog amulet will make a child less fearful of storms. As with most of these secretive animals in the developing parts of India, the purple frog is endangered. It's already a pretty elusive creature only emerging from the ground for a few days a year, but with rapidly expanding cultivation and deforestation, they will soon be lost forever. Black Spotted Cuscus The Black Spotted Cuscus is one of the creepiest creatures you have ever seen before. This little guy is a marsupial and lives in the northern regions of the island of New Guinea. They have very unusual characteristics, like their vertically oriented pupils that they use for their nocturnal lives. That's just disturbing, but it helps them see at night. 
They have arched front claws and long tails that help them live in the trees. As a clever nocturnal marsupial, black spotted cuscuses are not typically observed in the wild. This could be for the best as they look a little demonic. The black spotted cuscus is like a red squirrel with orange snake eyes. And in any case, they are very close to being wiped out for good. These curious nighttime animals have been hunted to the brink of extinction and pushed over the edge due to their habitat being converted for agriculture and settlements. They are very likely to be extinct before scientists can fully understand these bizarre animals. They are so rare that not enough studying has really been done. What is to be done? It's tragic what is happening to all these animals, but no one seems to have taken this developing tragedy seriously. Shall we develop bigger, better zoos and wildlife preserves to maintain the planet's biodiversity in spite of development? Should there be bigger nature preserves with stronger laws protecting them? Let me know your opinions in the comment section below, but be sure to subscribe too. There are lots of incredible facts and videos multiple times a week. Some of them are serious, some are funny, but you won't want to miss any of them. Hooded Grebe The hooded grebe is practically Antarctic, at the bottom of South America, and it's one of the rarest birds in the world. They live on the remote glacial lagoons of Patagonia, which is the southern region of Chile and Argentina. According to BirdLife, the first rare footage of a hooded grebe courtship dance was recorded and uploaded just recently in 2017. Because these weird birds are so far from civilization in one of the most isolated places on the planet, largely inaccessible because of the lakes and islands of Patagonia, they have not been seen often. These are very rare birds, and it is even more rare that someone manages to get the mesmerizing footage of their courtship dance. The hooded grebe was only discovered around 45 years ago, and already they are almost gone. Their population was estimated at between 3,000 and 5,000 in the 1980s, but today there are only about 400 pairs left in the wild. Even in such a place like Patagonia, with such isolated and rarely seen birds as the hooded grebe, the world is changing rapidly, and extinction is still a threat. Which of these amazing animals would you like to see with your own eyes before extinction claims them? Which would you want to see put in zoos to protect the species even in the face of human development? Sound off in the comments section. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and see you again next time.